Hello everyone, my name is Rudy. As a kid, between the ages of three through six, I was unfortunately sexually abused. Living my life, I was still hurt from being abused and I felt like I couldn't tell anyone. And because of that feeling, I decided that it would be best to bottle it up, to not tell anyone, to lie to myself and to lie to others. Also, growing up in a Christian home, there was a lot of, of things that I felt like I needed to hide, felt like, like I couldn't be honest and, and have a true conversation with my parents. And that had really hindered a lot of the relationships that I've had. Um, and I felt like I couldn't be honest with anyone, especially people at the church. And it wasn't until I had gone to high school to where I just decided to claim the identity, to claim that I was homosexual and that that's the only thing that I could be. When I came to the way, I realized that there was a lot of freedom for people who were dealing with alcohol or drugs or, or anything else. But really, because homosexuality wasn't talked about in the church, I felt like I couldn't share my true situations. So every time there would be an altar call, I would go up for my anxiety, my depression, and all of these other situations that were byproducts of me being abused and, and the spirit of homosexuality. This year, I've gotten to, to really see the backside of, of the homosexuality, but especially how we're talking about it now with Pastor Marco, I'm able to see that with a clear conscience, with freedom, and everything that he's saying is completely true. When my senior year of high school came, I decided that I can't hold on to this anymore. That's when I had decided to let it go, to let everything that I was hiding come to the light. I was able to finally release what I had been holding on for to so long, and I was able to get my freedom from there. If it wasn't for the way being such a loving church and a church that, that sees past the sin, sees past of the hurt, I wouldn't be here. Now I'm set free from homosexuality. I'm set free from pornography. I'm set free from all these addictions that I've had. And most importantly, now I'm able to testify of God's transformational power. What an incredible testimony. Rudy's life was changed and transformed. My name's Kurt and I'm so excited to share with you. You know, Pastor's been uh, talking to us about love and we found out that love is the atmosphere for guaranteed growth, that love is a choice and love also forgives. And that leads us to our scripture today, 1 John 3, 16 through 19. We ought to know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother and sister in need, but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to the truth so we will be confident when we stand before God. Awesome, and there are three things we could take away from that scripture. Number one is this, real love gives. You know, God gave us his best when he gave us his son, Jesus. Number two is real love shows compassion. And really that's just putting yourself in that other person's skin, you know, in that circumstance and showing mercy and compassion. And number three, real love takes action, action. Faith without works, faith without action is dead. So I'm so excited that we're gonna have a special offering on October 2nd. We have an opportunity to show compassion, take action and give when we have an opportunity to build the playground down at the Arrowhead campus. It's gonna be amazing. And what we need to do is prepare to give our best. Remember, October 2nd is the day for that special offering. Super excited. And there are three ways to give. The first is the Way World Outreach app. Super simple, super safe, easy. You can even 
even set up recurring giving. The second is the way.gives with an S, the way.gives. Again, follow the prompts, safe and secure. And the third is come down to the church Monday through Friday, nine to five, and you could drop off your check or cash or credit card here at the office and we can take it then. But also right now we have the worship team coming up for one final song. And as they do that, you have an op opportunity to take action, to give and show compassion and bring your tithes and offerings forward and drop them off in a kiosk right now. God bless you.